Hello everyone, my name is Loco and it's time to play a little bit more Hearthstone. Today we're gonna be messing around with none other than the Combination Druid. This Druid deck has been around since forever. A couple card has changed here and there, but in general we want to try and nuke our opponent down from high HP all the way to zero in just a matter of one or two turns. Let's get started. All right, so here we are. First game is gonna be up against the mage here. Now, as you may have noticed, I've been grinding up the ladder a little bit. I've been playing, uh, you know, basically every single time. I had about 10, 15 minutes available in between, like, videos rendering and in between, like, doing stuff in general. And um, I've managed to climb all the way up to rank 12 right now. It's not super high up on the ladder or anything. I know there's people way higher up than that. Uh, but I've been having a blast. I've actually been playing a lot of Zoo. I've been playing this deck a little bit here and there as well. It's been a lot of fun so far. Now, this is one of those decks, like I mentioned, it has been around since the very early days of Hearthstone. And it's one of those type of decks that I have always really enjoyed playing. Just like the sort of tricks that you can do with these type of decks is just really fun. Like Savage Roar uh, in combination with the Force of Nature. You can just do a lot, a lot of fun stuff with it. I guess we'll just get started though pretty slowly here. Don't have too much use for any of this, and we need to make sure that that, you know, tiny little minion does get dealt with. Now, obviously, most of the time, when you play these type of decks, you either absolutely crush your opponent, which is, you know, just the, the nature of the beast, if you can, you know, bring your opponent down from high health to zero very quickly, or you just end up falling and look like an absolute noob, which, you know, both are, uh, both are very viable. Mm, I'm trying to think here what I should do. I could actually... Use the Innervate right now to get an Ezra Drake out. Just trying to think if that would make a lot of sense, but... Uh, none of these cards I really want to play, though. None of these cards I really want to play. We can take the risk here, but then we also run into the risk of not having anything next turn. So, I guess we just give the, uh, or keep the Innervate in hand and just hope we get something better next turn. This is looking pretty, pretty terrible so far, though. We've got nothing useful in our hands. Now, this happens every now and then. If he's just gonna do this as well, we're in a good place. If he's just gonna pass turn... <laughs> Alright, looks like we're passing back and forth. I could go ahead and actually play the Ancient of Lore here, just innervate it out. Which actually would be a pretty okay move, just because we get some more uh, card drawn, and hopefully we'll draw into something that will allow us to, um, you know, play something in the next turn as well. Otherwise we could run into trouble in turn number f uh, 6. So this should work out a little bit better. Or actually, I think it's turn 5, considering we used the Wild Growth earlier. But either way, this is a nice hand right here. We have a whole bunch of different things. He's going to be running the Arcane Intellect as well, once again, using the Hero Power. Wow. He's going to town on the Hero Power side of things. Um, so here's the thing. He is running a Mage. He's likely going to use a lot of spells. Lothap can become extremely good. We just have to time it properly. We just have to think about the point where he wants to play it. One of the moments where he likely wants to go ahead and play it is turn 7. Where he unlocks, um, yeah, I, I did start with the coin, I'm just thinking right here. Where he unlocks the option to go ahead and play the Flame Strike. If I actually manage to draw into a Savage Roar, or like a, a, a uh, Force of Nature right now, of which I have two in a deck, and I play Lothap in the next turn, should be in a pretty good place. Should be in a pretty good place, but we'll see. Just making sure I cannot go ahead and play, uh, you know, the big, big stuff in the next turn. I think he's saving up for a flame strike. I mean, every single deck is running flame strike at this point, right? Well, he does get lucky there. Pretty unfortunate for us. And he's also going to be able to deal with this. Ugh. I pack a big punch. <laughs> Always love that. Um. So let's see. Is he very likely to do that? He is very likely to play that. The only issue is obviously that. I need to be dealing with the Mana Worm here. The Mana Worm can get out of control very quickly, and I want to make sure I keep that board on our end. So what I can do is play Ezra Drake, Hero Power, um, and go from there. Lothab will save for a little bit. Ancient of Lore, I don't really need to play right now. I got a lot of cards in hand that could potentially be useful. We also got a card draw out of this one, so this should be a little bit better. I'll deal with it that way. Alright. Swipe is obviously also great. We could use that to clean up any kind of big minions. Oftentimes in combination with, for example, the Ancient, um, or the, uh, the Keeper of the Grove. Although, Dr. Boom can also be quite frustrating. Um, I guess we'll just have to swipe it down. Guess we'll just have to swipe Dr. Boom down, take some damage to the face. Do we have anything else to follow it up with, though? That's kind of the thing, right? I could swipe it down and clean up the board that way. We'll be left with, you know, four mana, which is not all that great. If we then hero power again, we're kind of in a bad spot. 
could just hero power their Nasus Esperant, I suppose. Which is not all that amazing. But I mean, we need to clean up this stuff. So I, I wonder if this is actually the correct play here. I wonder if this is the correct play. I can deal with it with a single Wrath right here. No, man. I think I kind of have to do it like this. Yeah. I don't think I have much of an option. We'll need to deal with it. Take the damage to the face. I mean, the obvious problem is just that Dr. Boom is hard to deal with. If you throw out more minions on the board, it's just... It's just gonna give you... Like, it's just gonna give him more and more value out of that Dr. Boom. And, you know, he basically... No matter what, you always seem to buy yourself a turn with Dr. Boom at the very least. We dealt with it quite cleanly right there. Alright, there's a secret. Likely gonna be duplicate. Duplicate very powerful. Or very common. Uh, we'll have to deal with that thing. Uh, we'll go ahead here and probably play Lothab and play Wrath. I think that makes the most sense. Wrath it down. I mean, we don't really need the extra mana anymore at this point. Could also silence it with the Keeper of the Grove and just hit him in the face, but I think Lothab makes a little bit more sense here. And we could actually also just simply taunt up. Taunting up here would not be that bad of a deal, but... I think Wrath makes a little more sense. It's kind of a question here. Like, these are the moves that I struggle with in these matchups. I could even just Savage Roar here and clean up the board. I think I want to keep that double Savage Roar, though. We'll actually play Druid of the Claw, then. We'll play Druid of the Claw. A little bit differently here. The thing is, if he runs himself to death, that's fine. Um, we can just ping him down with Wrath in the next turn and potentially go for double Savage Roar. Obviously, we gotta be watching out for Ice Block as well. He won't be able to play any spells here, which he likely wanted to. Um, considering we have double Savage Roar in hand, we can give all of these minions plus four. That's a lot. That's a lot of extra damage. So, let's see. I'm assuming this is a duplicate, just because the duplication of the Sludge Belcher is so much value. Especially later on into the match. And if you can play double Sludge Belcher, it's so annoying for, uh, you know, for anyone really. Not just Druid, but uh, for any class to, uh, to be dealing with. So double savage roar adds four to both or to all minions. That would be eight. Um, that would be nine. That'd be seventeen together. Plus six is actually gonna be lethal here. Well, not I'm afraid with the savage roar. Yeah, so it's definitely duplicate. I can just silence it. I can also just draw into some more cards. The thing is that he does have the option to go for the swipe or for the um, for the AOE clear in the next turn. Trying to think here. Kind of want to trade blows if I can. Um, I can silence him as well, which would be an okay move. I could also just try and draw into Savage Roar, leave him at 16 HP, and go for the, go for the face. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna draw into two cards here. Hope it's a Savage Roar. Well, I guess I can't play either of those. Yeah, all right. So here's the uh, here's the duplicate. Not all that amazing for us. We can still obviously draw into the savage roar. We have twelve cards in hand. Or not the savage roar, rather force of nature. Sorry. If you were confused, I meant the force of nature. Force of nature will be enough to clean him up. So he's likely gonna use the um, he's likely gonna use his AOE clear here. Likely gonna fire strike. So, Savage Roar in combination with Force of Nature will deal uh, 14 damage, and I can easily clean him up from there. Since I have double uh, double Savage Roar there, we can obviously, you know, get the lethal no matter what. We can innervate it. So, if I draw into it, it's game over. The only issue is drawing into it, and him not having Ice Block. If he has Ice Block, he's in trouble. Although, if he's not having Flame Strike, well, I think he still is going to Flame Strike here. Pretty much no matter what. He's not. Interesting. Alright. So we can just swipe this. He knows I'm probably gonna swipe it. There's wild growth. Not really what I'm looking for. Alright, so we are gonna swipe here no matter what. Think we'll have to do it that way. 
swipe him down. Don't want to give him any unnecessary card trolls. Which is fine. Um, I can just hero power it down if I want to. I can also play the Druid of the Claw here, get a little bit more sustain, just in case if we draw into that into that force of nature. We'll go ahead here and taunt up. Now, I, I can imagine that I am making some misplays, okay? I never ever play this game perfect, so I do want to point out that if you notice me make any, like, major misplays, always feel free to post them down below in the comment section of this video. I always appreciate feedback. And what I mean with feedback is not like, oh my god, he is so bad! I've seen that before. I know I'm not the greatest at this game, okay? I know very well I'm not the greatest at this game, but... Oh, are you gonna flame strike here still? Wow. Alright, well, force of nature, come on now. Come on now. None of those are force of nature, I'm afraid. Um, alright. Gimme. Gimme. I'm afraid not. We still, we still only have nine cards in the, in the deck. I mean, come on. <laughs> How big is the chance of not drawing into it? I do put it in there, right? It is in there, right? I hope so. That's what she said. No, that's that's not a good thing if she says that. I don't know what his uh, his win condition is, though. He seems to have very little of it. Hmm. And here we go. Force of Nature. You ready? Oh, not even. Um, Let's have a look. So, we can try and, and ping. There we finally have it. And I guess we'll play the uh, Emperor Thorazan here. Almost no matter what. Could actually ping him. Would be okay. Can I even hit him? No, it's not. I can't even do that. You never want to hit your own thing. Uh, all right, all right. We'll just we'll just pause the turn. All right. So he's dead no matter what. He's dead no matter what here, right? Unless he, like, manages to throw out, like, another Sludge Belcher, which wouldn't be that surprising. Probably gonna Fireball, there we go, yeah. Do we have Lethal here? We force the nature once, that is 6 damage in combination with the Savage Roar, that's 14. 2 is gonna go from my hero on there, 14. 14 plus 6 is 20. Do we have a way to play the Keeper of the Grove here? We have Force of Nature. 5. We can play 9 here. 9 damage. Or 9 mana right here. 11. Yeah, we'd be fine, right? I'm just gonna do it anyway. I'm pretty convinced we are fine here. Uh, we'll go ahead here. Bing him down. No, 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 not silence. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We want to ping him. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't actually matter. It doesn't actually matter. Alright. I had to double check there, but uh, it worked out just barely to a T. First game is going in our favor. Sweet. How many stars do we get? Do we actually get a bonus star? I've been winning a couple here and there. No, we need to win another one. Let's get to rank 11. Alright, I just played the worst game in my life. I made so many misplays in that previous match, I just don't want to share it with you, okay? Just know, I secretly just lost one of my stars again, in case you were wondering why I dropped down one. I made embarrassing, embarrassing misplays. I can't share that. Now, the embarrassing game that I just played that you won't get to see, I'm very sorry, but you're not gonna see that. That was just terrible. It was actually also against the priest. It was against the dragon priest, it was about a 20 minute long match. And I just made misplay after misplay, knowing I actually could have won that game. I, I I ended up losing it. Pretty bad play right there by me, but, you know, just to give you a <laughs> quick recap of what happened in that one. I wanted to share it at first. I was like, no, people are going to shout at me. All right, it's another one of those guys. Another one of those guys. Another Dragon Priest. I guess we'll just simply go ahead and play, um, you know, Alun's Guidance. Guidance? Whatever. <laughs> Oh man, that was bad. That was really bad. I actually was kind of embarrassed in my own misplace. Let's let's redeem ourselves and you know not do that again. Alright, you're gonna buff him? Gonna buff him? 
Phalanx Chosen? Ugh, mean. Not quite what I was hoping for here. Phalanx Chosen is such a sick card. Such a powerful, powerful card. Hmm. Question is, Shade Anax Ramas or Living Roots Wild Growth? The thing is, I have a lot of like a lot of plays ready to go as well, so we'll start building up the Shade Anax Ramas here. I think either would be okay, but we have to turn four and five play anyway. Well, I mean, a Keeper of the Grove would be nice. The Keeper of the Grove would be a okay by me. Keeper of the Grove. Oh my God, I called it. I'm magic. Could it be magic? If only I would have gone for the Wild Growth in the previous turn, right? <laughs> Alright, either way. This is fine. Here's the thing I found out about Dragon Druid, though. If you give them the board dominance, or like the control of the cards that are out on the board in any way whatsoever, you're gonna go ahead and have a terrible time. He's just gonna once again- he really loves this whelp. The most loved Twilight whelp of all time. I'm pretty convinced he is, you know, he has some sort of relationship with this one. At least I wouldn't be surprised. Um, I think we're just living rooted down hero power wild growth. Probably. No, no, wrong card. Oh my god, Loco. Ooh, I almost thought I misclicked. Ah, uh, do we hit him? Do we hit him? No, no, we don't hit him. We don't hit him. We bring him down from, from 30 to 0. He's gonna heal up anyway. Who am I kidding? Anduin doesn't Anduin doesn't go down in health all that easily. He needs to be comboed. He needs to be he needs to be savage roared and force of nature in order to for him to actually, you know, go down. Bottom to Shredder is actually pretty good here. We can we can play all these cards. None of them are bad. Ancient of Lord does give us more options in the next turns. The thing is, I don't have any ways of killing him. But all right, fine. We we'll draw two cards. We'll draw two cards here. Swipe, double swipe. Yeah. <sighs> He's probably gonna trade here. Hmm. All right. Don't know if that was the scariest target to entomb. Actually, I do know that that was not the the scariest target to entomb. But hmm. You can just simply double swipe. But I think this makes a little more sense. He obviously does have a. Um, he obviously does have. Um, you know, uh, Shadow Word's death at this point. So if I trigger this minion, it's dead in a turn, so there's no point in doing it. That's a little unfortunate. Is someone injured? Mm, yeah. A lot of minions are injured actually in this match. Cute of you asking though, but. I think we'll play Azur Drake, Pilot to Shredder. Unless we draw into something else. Nope. We really have to start getting the cards that we're looking for, though. Such as, for example, uh, Savage Roar and Force of Nature. Got none of those in hand yet. Man, the draws are the draws are not happening so far. <laughs> really? Are you convinced about that? Interesting. Interesting, sir. You really must like card draw. He must really enjoy card draw. Alright. So we got 11, 15 damage right now. 11, 15 damage is a lot, okay? 15 damage here. Are you mocking me? I would never be mocking you, no. Well, we got 16 damage now. 16 damage plus 4 is 20. We have 20 damage in one turn. 20 damage plus 5 is 25. <laughs> Damn, we almost got lethal right here. Alright, we'll have to get rid of that minion. Uh, 
I mean, I think I go for Dr. Boom here no matter what, right? Clean her up and hit him in the face. Let me double check. I can do 4, 12, 12 plus 8, 20 damage. 20 damage? Yeah, I got 25 damage here. I think we'll just play Dr. Boom here. Hit him in the face. With a bunch of my minions. He probably doesn't have two Shadow Words death in hand. So we'll go ahead and clean that up. And then also hit him in the face with those two. Everything considered. Like, he's gonna Shadow Word death this one down. At which point, Dr. Boom will survive for a turn. Instead of giving him, like, you know, the option to Shadow, shadow Word death both of them. <clears throat> Alright. Playing with fire, I see. Turned out so f turned out okay so far. You think he has a double shadow or death ready to go? I doubt it. I mean, you wouldn't keep double shadow or death anytime if you cannot do avoid it. So, all right. I think the top process was okay there. The damn stand ready. All right, let's have a look. So we got <coughs> we got five damage. 5 damage is 9 damage. Well, 5 damage is 9 damage. Does 9 damage, 10 damage, 17 damage? Yeah, we definitely have lethal here. Alright, we can get super fancy. Also, innervate. Boom. Hero power. Hit him in the face. Everything to the face. We won. Alright, so the final match for today is gonna be versus a paladin. I don't want any of those cards, though. Ugh. Nope. Give me, give me a wild growth. And living, living roots. There we go. That's fine. Yeah, uh, it's I say it's fine. It's not all that great though The nice thing is though that with um, With paladins you usually survive a little bit later on into the game and swipe is extremely valuable So, you know, this is not too bad. Dr. Boom always a good draw Although you don't really want a mulligan for him. He's not <laughs> he's never bad, right? You're not like ah oh, dang it. I got a Dr. Boom unless you maybe uh, are looking for a heal bot or whatever, but It very seldomly happens at the very least that uh, Dr. Boom is not a correct choice. Alright. Well met well indeed. Uh, let's say greetings. Well met. <clears throat> I do really like the look of those dudes though. Look at them. Those saplings are cute. Red alert. Not much we can do here. Can't go for the pilot of the Shredder in the next turn if I coin it out. Which is alright. Kinda depends though. I hope I draw into something that I can either use turn 4 or turn 3. A 3 or 4 mana minion would be good. Or a card. So you got Avenge. Pretty much always gonna be a vent, right? If it's a vent, I might want to swipe it. Hmm, it's not gonna be perfect. Yeah, I mean we don't have much of an option though. I need to make sure that thing is dead. A vent? Yep. May just have to swipe it down in the next turn, if he just plays like a hero power here. We're definitely gonna do that. We're fine once we get to one of the later mana stages. We can lose 5 health, that's okay as well. I've been playing a lot of Secret Paladin myself. I know it's a little dirty, but... It's so good, it's so much fun. <laughs> like, oh my god, I can't look, 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 I can't believe that you played a Secret Paladin. I actually made some videos about it. Didn't really realize that a lot of people would get upset at me playing, you know, that deck. Um, yeah, with a swipe, right? I mean, now he knows he have a <laughs> we have a swipe in hand. <laughs> Guess we have to now. Yeah, we'll have to living root. 
Let's see what he gets. Gets an elephant. Elephant is not all that great. <clears throat> we can go for Druids of the Claw next. Which is good. Like, we have we have solid sustain past turn 5. So past the next turn, if he doesn't play like anything super scary here, we're in a good place. That is a little annoying. Swipe would be okay here as well. But either way, Druid of the Claw is good. It's gonna have a hard time to clean that up. That's 6 health he needs to deal with. Who am I? None of your business. Well, we'll see if you have anything that's none of our business, Flados. Hmm. Do you think he has uh, a big game hunter in hand? Nah, I think this makes more sense. Nothing too scary here. We're not scared of losing. Don't need to innervate at Dr. Boom. I'd rather save that for the potential of Savage Roar and just finish off the game immediately. Who am I? Oh man. Here we go. Maybe Dr. Boom would have been a better play. Well. This is gonna be annoying. Um. Yeah, nothing we're gonna need to do to prevent that either way, though. But this is gonna be kind of annoying. So, there's gonna be a whole bunch of things that will trigger all at once. We have to make sure we clean up as much as the minions out of the board. We'll clean that dude up. Actually, obviously, it's gonna Noble Sacrifice no matter what. Which is fine. It's gonna bring that guy back. We'll have to make sure we hero power at least one of the dudes. At which point, I guess we'll just play the pilot to Shredder and hope for the best. That's fine. That's all fine. So the, one, the last one that gives plus one plus one to all of these minions is going to be played here too. Very annoying though. Very, very annoying. The competitive spirit. Alright, so that was the biggest turn in the game for certain. He, he may very well bring me down to zero here. Maybe I should have actually innervated that Lothap instead. So he can do 11, 13 damage right now. 14. Oh no, he can do more. He may very well have lethal here. Oh! <laughs> Wait. He has a 1, 5, 5, uh, 5 plus 9. Or 5 plus 9 is 14 plus 5. Yeah, he would have, he would have had lethal. That was some Annoyatron value right there. The A, like the, the RNG look. Thank you, RNG Jesus, for that love and compassion you just showed me. All right, we're not out of the water yet, though. <laughs> Everything considered, we're not out of the water yet. I was hoping it would bring us closer to the victory, but even though we had the luckiest draw, it didn't really end up making that much of a difference. I guess I should have gone for... I guess I should have innervated that Lothap right there at the very end anyway, just in case of Consecration. I didn't really, I didn't really, you know, calculate the amount of damage he would be able to do. I wouldn't have been able to, uh, to get the, uh, the Ancient of Lord, though. Would not be able to do that, so I couldn't heal myself up or anything like that. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video anyway. If you haven't already, hit that like button. If you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button as well, so you get a notification as soon as I upload more. I want to thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. I'll see you in the next one. Boop.